for the head, new options out of the ordinary to be remembered, like urban style baseball caps at Stella McCartney. Another innovation, hoods for adults making comeback, notably at Alexander Wang with a hole to let the ponytail fall. Or a more spaceman version at Moogler. I mean, my mom used to be an air hostess, you know, so um, I was very inspired. Since little, um, my mom always used to uh, travel in such a, a chic uh, outfit at work. So it's all about the aerodynamics and this beautiful uh, round shapes. Another trend that comes to mind, glimpses of shower caps at Givenchy with coloured flowers. Finally, the helmet effect works with fur that pleases you, like at Chanel. or tied as a scarf at Emino Scavino. Another accessory to adopt for the hair, the Fendi crust and fur. It was fun creating an almost pushed up hairstyle between punk and Iroquois. I thought it was not so excessive, but it gave it a style. One can opt for a light version and in different colours like at Jean Paul Gaultier. For the beauty, the idea of the hair is like a patchwork, and for the final result, it's more of a tomboy haircut, a mix between male and female, or the more ruffled effect at Heide Ackerman. Finally, back to the vital accessory, the bag. At Chanel, no less than 14 models of bags are presented. Our favourite, the Minaudaire, the two C's intertwined in different colours. We also love the new version of the Speedy by Louis Vuitton, proposing its fur version. Among the essentials, we note the double bag, got the very desirable light and foldable clutch bag at Celine, with a special mention to the sleeve bag. Finally, not forgetting that Ronald Mouret and Gambatista Valley took advantage of their show to launch their first handbag lines.